the iced coffee. I start off with ice in my cup. I add my coffee. I get from Circle K or wherever. When I don't make it at home, I add my protein. Then I add my sugar-free creamer, which 9 times out of 10 is French vanilla. And then I just stir it up, and that's it, guys. I used to use premium protein till I found this better protein for my nutritionist. I really like it. It's vegan. It's uh, gluten-free. I've got a lot of good stuff in it. Turmeric, a lot of good stuff in it. I ordered from Walmart. Don't ask me to pronounce it, honey, child, because I give you any kind of name. Pira, Para, PQ, I don't know. I just know it's good, and I read the ingredients. And that's it. My coffee, my protein, and my zero creamer, and that's it. I pick up my coffee when I don't feel like making it, and that's it. It's good. Hi, guys. This is me, Ursula Thomas, and welcome to my channel. Well, I always feel like I have to let y'all look after I start the thing. Let me let y'all look. Hey, welcome to my channel. Hey, of course you know, it's a thrifting show. And all of my else bees that been down with me. Woo! Hey, you know the deal, you know the deal. Hi guys, it's me, Ursula Thomas, and welcome to my channel. Of course, you know by now that this channel was founded on what? thrifting so anytime you see me pretty much majority of the time it's going to be about being thrifty 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 or thrifting but i do like lifestyle i do like to talk with you guys i do like to chit check so you might get a little vlog you might get a little cook with me you might get a little shop with me you might get a little retail shopping with me you might get a little thrift with me you might get a little in it you i don't know some melting pot it's all in what i feel like doing and when i feel like doing it how i feel like doing that's what you're gonna get I thank y'all used to it by now. Anyway, I love you guys so much. All of my old subbies, thank you so much. All of my new subbies, thank you, thank you, thank you. Listen, listen, listen. It's still saying that over half of you guys watching ain't subscribed. Make sure you are subscribed. Double check. Don't say, oh, I know I'm subscribed. No. I told you what happened to me. Go and make sure you are subscribed. Like, share, and subscribe if you like the content. Of course. If you like the content, of course, like, share, and subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up and do not hesitate to leave me a comment down below. Suggestion, chit chat, any whatever. That's how we build our community. That's how we get to know one another. That's how we get to laugh and chit chat, you know, because this is a family. You guys are my family, and I call y'all my fam bam. And the reason I say fam bam, because y'all are my family by associated media. We are associated with this media, and that has made us to become what? Family. We don't want that distance stuff. We want to be family. We want to communicate. We want family. We want to communicate. All right, with that being said, guys, y'all know me. Y'all know working on myself. Sometimes I do a little better, sometimes I don't. So I'm trying to do a little better today. Y'all keep saying, oh, talk, talk, talk. And then after a while, y'all be like, oh, girl, okay. Hey, <laughs> now y'all not, y'all, you know, y'all not. <laughs> okay, we're going to jump right into this haul. Of course, y'all see I am wearing, y'all should have seen this already. I am wearing my Victoria's Secret uh, pajama set. I know I shared this, guys. Shared this, guys. We're not doing this. I know I shared this with you guys um, earlier. So... We started off with this video with me doing my uh, iced coffee routine because some of you guys want to see the iced coffee. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know there was something different. There was something new, but I told you, you never know what you're going to get. So now we are going to jump into this haul. The first thing I want to show y'all because I could not remember if I showed y'all this or not. But this is another set that I actually thrifted from the barn. I keep telling myself, girl, don't get no more, don't get no more, but I love to style it. I'm telling you, y'all want some two-piece sets, and y'all want some two-piece sets for the low, low, child, get you some pajama sets. Get you some pajama sets that people be like, are those pajamas? Girl, I think those pajamas, girl, she's wearing. See, I would throw on a blazer with this. I would wear it by itself. I would just try. I, I showed y'all how I did that other one. Well, here I go. Here I go now. I got this one because I wanted this one. I got this one in a extra large. This is a large. This is a Victoria's Secret large. I got this one in a extra large because I want it to be a little baggy. So if it gives me the look that I'm looking for, I'm going to keep it. If it don't, I will redonate it. But it is a, just a two-piece pajama set from... Uh, 
I can't see who this is. It looks like Sophia. It looks like Sophia. Two-piece pajama set, and it's trimmed in black. And nine times out of ten, I'm going to play up on that black. But another one, another one, another one. Next thing we got is, I know y'all are going to be tickled by this. Y'all remember in my last video, I said I was going to go to Hobby Lobby or go somewhere, and I was going to give me some feathers. When I went to the thrift store and laying in the bones, I found this. I kid you not. So now I am on the hunt for a black pajama set, two-piece set, and I'm going to make me some, you know, them pajamas I told y'all I like with the fuzzy feathers around. But, honey, I'm going to have my version of it. <coughs> I'm going to have my version. I was going to order this from Shein, kid you not. And I saw it at the Bones, and I don't think, I think they thought it was a bra. I don't think they knew what it was, but it is like a harness belt. But the only thing about this one is it's already, and I didn't notice that when I picked it up, but it's already, it's starting to peel. If you see. Y'all, I could not get this thing to do right for nothing. I couldn't get it to lock, but they supposed to lock up here. And then this part right here is supposed to have some bone in it. And it's supposed to go under and then in the back. But anyway, it's real cheaply made. And I could I couldn't I couldn't get it to do right. I can't get these to lock in like they're supposed to. But this could be a really cute look on any shirt. So anyway, that's that. If you see right there. So I'm not 100 percent I'm gonna keep this. I might wear it one time. I might just to see how I do. But it is a harness belt. And I actually really was thinking about ordering this from Shein because I like how it look on, on the outside of blouses. Like if you put some slacks on blouse and you throw this on, it can give it such a nice look. So when I saw that, I just picked it up at the bone. Next thing, I went to the regular Goodwill. I went to the regular Goodwill. We're going to say, say that for last. I went to the regular Goodwill, and I was on my way leaving when I spotted these, and I told y'all I would grab some man pants in a minute. When I spotted these, I knew I felt like they weren't true to size because I looked at them, and they said they was a, a 42. I was like, no, I know what a 40 looked like. I've been in the man pants pretty enough, long enough, pretty enough. I huh, just know I knew it wasn't a 40. So when I saw these, I was like, those are not a 42. Those are not a 42. I said, those might be a 38, but they're not a 42. But I hadn't seen men pants like this. And then I love the contrast of the dark with the lightest cream on the pocket. So I grabbed them, of course. And then, yeah, they got zippers in the back. Functional zippers in the back. I ain't seen... On men pants? So I like the fact that I can high waist these and I got them to wear them a little slouchy. The look that I got in my mind, I'm going to see if I can pull it off. If it don't look right, I can't redonate them, but I like these, so I probably won't. I'll probably just either take them and get them worked on or just, I don't know. I know I got the hem them. I already know that, but I just like the look of those, those, the, the double, um, uh, contrast of the colors the next thing i got is these and when i put them up on the rest of the women laughed at me but i was like they was like oh your fast self and i was like honey you don't know nothing about me you don't know nothing about me anyway it's these i grabbed these y'all know how i feel about faux leather but honey when they had that now i ain't gonna lie to you i'm not gonna tell you i'm gonna get tons of wear out of these when i purchased these i already knew the deal i already knew maybe one or two and they done but i still wanted to give them because if y'all remember i got that puffy black uh faux leather in the last haul so i'm gonna compare i'm gonna compare i'm a, i'm a what i'm trying to say I'm going to put those two together. I'm going to put those two together, and I'm going to try them on and let y'all see what they look like together. Next thing I got is I love these, y'all. I have been looking for some of these for a minute, 
but I just didn't want to pay some of the price. And when I found them at the barn, they just weren't in good shape. So I told you, I already told y'all about how I find my shoes. Pretty much new. They look like they had might been worn maybe, maybe one time. I know I walked around in the store in them, so I'm not sure. But they are these, you say, well, it's finna be spring. Yeah, it's finna be spring, but I buy out of season. I buy, I'm a thrifter. And when I'm interested in something, baby, I'm going to get it. I don't care. I'm going to get it. So when I saw these, of course, I grabbed them. Mm -hmm. I grabbed them. They are so comfortable. The only thing is, now, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. They are size 8. I wear 8 and a half, so my toe is right there. But normally, I, I know y'all might think this is weird. I normally don't wear boots like this with socks. Because I normally just throw them on to run around, whatever. My Uggs, whatever. I don't want them wearing with socks. If I do wear these with socks, they're going to be very thin. My feet ain't growing no more. If anything, they're going to shrink some more. So, they ain't growing no more. So, I grabbed them and I was like, you know, I'll just see how they do. But I walked around the store with them. My toe is right there, but it's not an uncomfortable way it hurt. I just know I ain't got no room, if that makes sense. All right. The next thing I grabbed is this. Y'all remember, I talked about a skirt, how I wanted to find that skirt and a knit skirt. So, I found this little knit skirt. It is a... It look like a Marisa or Marissa. I can't, I don't know, girl. But that's what it is. Okay, guys, this is the black skirt. And the top is not thrifted. The top is from Nostrum Rack. And I got this top because it reminded me of, I believe it's the Bottega, not the Bottega, Balenciaga shirt, I believe it is, with all the writing over it. So this reminded me of that. And so I got it. And I really like it with this skirt. And the thing I like about it is you could do a half tuck. You could tie it. You could wear a slouchy and throw you on a black blazer. You could throw you on some heels. Give me a minute, I'll show you. Instead of telling you, give me a minute, yeah, I'll show you. I completely changed the look from casual. I just went and got my vintage black blazer, my oversized bag. I just threw on my little sliding. Ooh, my little sliding heels. Don't fall, girl. My little sliding heels. And it totally changed the look all together. I take the heels off, the blazer off, throw gym shoes on, run errands, be comfortable and cute. I can do my little four Gucci slides on, be comfortable and cute. But yeah, so it's all about what your style and what your aesthetics is. But yeah, I just love this little top. I thought it was a good little, you know, my version of the Balenciaga top. And I thought it was cute. And plus, y'all know I like black and white. Okay, 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 all right. Knit, and it is kind of see-through, and it is very stretchy. Now, that uh, that's, again, what I was talking about in a previous video. Now, even though this is a large, this the stretch of it, if you are a 1X, 2X, I don't know about a 3X, but I know a 2X probably can get up in this. That's how much stretch it got. And knit is pretty stretchy anyway. That's why I said don't go by size. I really could have got this in a small or medium. But, you know, thrifty, you got to get what you can get. And last but not least, y'all, with some story on this right here, I found this. Another lady was looking at it, and I just glanced at it, and I was like, what is that? I didn't even know what it is. Y'all see it separated in a bag. We're going to talk about it. But it is this brand new... Ivory Park two-piece set. Now, okay, now let's talk. And it's going to be brief. Everybody got their opinion. This is my opinion. You don't have to agree with it. You might be shocked. You might not. Now, let me say this. I am not a Beyonce fan. Yes, I have listened to some of her music in the, what you call it? Yes, some of it is fine and all of that. But I'm not a fan where I follow her. I'm not part of the B tribe. I'm not any of that. I'm very cautious about what I buy. Very cautious. I do believe they into some funny stuff. I do. This is my opinion now. I do believe it. I was looking at this and I was trying to see what was all on this. So I don't know what this design is, first of all. Uh, it does have the Adidas right there you can see it but the logo and the zipper and all of this see the zipper i don't know what that's about now i'm gonna tell you what i think it's about i think it's about that that sign they be throwing up 
So because of that, I don't even keep this in my house. And I know y'all say, well, other folks, yeah, but see, I don't know about the other folks. But when God puts something before your eyes, you don't just direct disobey him. You say, well, why you pick it up? When I picked it up, I wasn't even thinking about it in the sense of what was designed. I picked it up. I said, like, oh, that's the Adidas. That's Ivan Park. I probably could resell that. But then when I was in the car and I started thinking, I was like, wait a minute. They into some funny stuff. I didn't even look all over there because I, I read the labels. I look in the inside. I look. I be looking for because stuff be hid, baby. Y'all, I'm telling y'all. Y'all might not know. Y'all might say, oh, Lord, she wanted them. Say what you say. But I'm telling you now, I'm very cautious about my spiritual awareness. So when I got it home, I was like, mm, I don't know. So then I started looking. I was like, wait a minute. This is all over whatever this design is. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it represents. So right now, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I am going to try it on to let you. I did pray. I did. I did. I am going to try it on to let you guys see what it looked like. What I'm going to do with it, I don't know. I'm listening as God give me direction. Do he want me to burn it, destroy it, or what if it ain't right? And that's the way I am. I listen to God. I'm going to tell you something about jewelry, about clothes, about pictures. Pictures. Pictures, whatever I bring into my house, I am very cautious. And y'all might say, oh, that's just too. Honey, listen. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. When you know what you know what you know what you know. And I got good balance. Don't get me wrong. But, honey, I know too much about what I know when I know that I know. Okay? Okay. And if y'all ever want to know what I know, I can start another channel based on Christianity, religion, and having a relationship. Christianity, religion, and having a relationship. All of it is different. All of it is different. People say I'm a Christian. Okay? People say I'm religious. Okay? Do you have a relationship? Because when you have a relationship, baby, that's different. See, you, it, it's like, it's like, we can be friends, we friendly, we can be friends with benefits, and then guess what, we together. Us talking about marriage. It's all different types, it's all different types of steps. So it depends on where you are in your walk with Christ. And where I am in my walk with Christ, baby, I don't play. I don't play. Now, I love, I have good balance. I love to have fun. God said he can't give me a life and give it to me more abundantly. I receive and accept my abundant life. And I ain't trying to do nothing to hinder, stop, or block, or help the enemy in no kind of way to come in and interfere with my abundancy. I know y'all didn't ask for that, but I gave it to you free. Hey! Now, with that being said, I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, double check. Make sure you are subscribed if you like my content. If you don't, I get it. I get it, but it's okay. Because there's a whole lot of other folks out here on YouTube that you might jail with. But the family that God has for me on this channel, we're going to jail. We're going to ride. We're going to go high. We're going to glide. We're going to smooth. We're going to groove. See, now I'm running out. All right, guys, I love you guys. Please be the solution to what? Somebody's problem. Please, please, please double check. Make sure you are subscribed. Give me a thumbs up if you like the content. And until next time, we're out. We're done. 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 We're out.